Hey guys, it's Lenny and welcome to the channel. Now this glitch is the arena merge. Yeah, I have posted a video on this, but I'm going to run through the work... It's not really a workaround, it's more so of a 100% method, because I was literally struggling to hit this glitch a lot. Um, I wouldn't get the right option at the right time, but if you set your spawn location to random, you will hit this glitch every time, um, and you can merge a lot of cars. So requirements, the arena, um, you need the RC, and you need to be in free aim, set your spawn location to random, and yeah, we'll get into it. So I have my internet ready to go so I can double tap back to it. If you're on Xbox, you just need to navigate your way back to your Xbox. Um, disconnect internet. So once you walk up to the RC, you want to press right D-pad. As soon as your character walks away, I count to three. As soon as I the character walks away and I've counted to three, I'll double tap my PlayStation button. And obviously I have my network set ready to go. I'll disconnect the internet, I'll reconnect the internet, I'll double tap back to the game, um, get the first alert. I always wait for the second alert, and then I'll accept it. And then I will spawn back into story mode. Now, if you're on Xbox, that part, you'll just have to navigate your way back to the disconnect internet part. On PlayStation, you can set up your double tap really quickly. You can just Basically, while you're playing the game, you can go into your settings, go into network, and just hover over the checkbox, and then double tap back to the game, and then you can just literally double tap back to that spot every time. So you see here, I'm going back to Storm because I've disconnected my internet, and yeah, I'm in free aim as well, but you would have noticed that at the start of the video. So once you're back in Storm mode, just press pause, go back to a invite-only session, so online back to invite only session or friend session or whatever you want to do you'll spawn in a random spot okay so we can job teleport back to our arena okay so I have jobs near my arena so I'll start the job up close to it I'll press square on a job I'll go to my dashboard find someone in our community join them once okay you're gonna get the first alert you're gonna get this alert here just join up again for the second time and then if they're in a different targeting mode, you're going to get the different targeting mode alert and you want to decline that alert. Now if your job markers aren't showing on the map, you need to go into your interaction menu into the hide options and set your jobs to custom. And you also want to set your um, matchmaking to close so you're not trying to join other people's jobs as well. Okay, so just that's in the options button in the pause menu, you just go to uh, press pause, go to online, in the in the online options you can change your um, matchmaking to closed, all right, and then you won't, then you'll, like, whenever you start a job up, you'll spawn in your own job, you won't try and join someone else's. Now, nothing's changed with the glitch at this part, you hop into the Vicky you want to pull the mods from, you press right D-pad, you want to change the armor, just go back to none and 100%, and then once you do that, you want to sell this vehicle, okay, once you sell it, um, you're going to get a black screen and then we need to join that person again that's in a different target mode so join them once I always join them again um, you can if you know they're in like different target modes you can accept the first decline the second but if you're not sure just join the same person again once you get that first alert and it'll give you the different target mode alert if they're in like assisted aim in this case back out of that and then all you want to do is make your way over to the vehicle that you want to put the mods onto so this one here, and I'm going to drive this outside. Okay, this is obviously the drive out method. So you can do all different cars, you can do Mark II oppressors, um, AA trailers, you can do whatever. Party buses or festival bus if you want to call it, you can get a dune. Um, yeah, you can modify a lot of vehicles that you can't normally modify. So you see there, I um, transfer the mods across and to save this vehicle I all I need to do is hop in it, press right d-pad, take it into the workshop and just change something about it if you were doing the AA trailer or the RC Bandito what you're going to need is a friend to be in a session with you once you get to the stage where you've glitched out the vehicle that you're pulling the mods from if you're on the AA trailer you need to be sitting on it and get your friend to send you an invite to their arena and then you accept the invite and then the mods will transfer across and once you go into their arena go back to yours um, change your outfit and swap the vehicle around and then yeah pretty much the same goes for the RC Bandito but you need to stand in front of that when you accept the invite to your friend's arena 
Alright guys, that's the workaround. I'll leave a link to the original video uh, of mine so you can, if there's anything I missed. Alright guys, thanks for watching.